In this video, I'll show you how to fix your iPhone's personal hotspot automatically disconnecting. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. I'll be explaining things to do and settings to change from if you're on the host iPhone, which is gonna be the one with the hotspot actually turned on. And also if you're using other devices to connect to it, but I'll explain which setting you need to go on each different device as I go along. So the first thing you need to do is go onto the host iPhone, so that's the iPhone actually hotspotting, um, and go onto the settings. And then what you need to do is go into the personal hotspot settings, just like so. And if you've got the option for it, there's one gonna be called maximize compatibility. I don't have this setting, but if you do, it's gonna appear on this page. Make sure that's turned off. I don't have it, but on the newer iPhones, you are going to have it. The next thing I recommend doing is still being on the host iPhone is making sure the low power mode is turned off. To turn that off, all you need to do is scroll down to you go into the option for battery and make sure low power mode is switched off like so. When it's turned on, your iPhone is be trying to save power so things like your personal hotspot will suffer. The next thing I recommend doing is making sure your iPhone is kept on. If you turn your iPhone off, then it may stop working as well, so it's definitely worth making sure you keep it on. If you find that your iPhone just puts itself to sleep or auto locks, all you need to do is go to display and brightness and then scroll down to auto lock and make sure it's set to never because otherwise if any of these times are set on after that amount of time of inactivity your phone is going to automatically lock. The next thing I recommend doing is going onto the phone that you're connecting to the hotspot from so switch to your other device and then if you're using an iPhone for that other device go into the mobile data and then make sure that Wi-Fi assist is turned off it's right at the bottom down here as you can see mine is turned off make sure it is as well because otherwise it's going to go and disconnect from the personal hotspot and start using your own mobile data. So make sure that is turned off. And the next thing I recommend doing is making sure that low data mode is also turned off. If this is turned on, then basically it's gonna really slow down your connection and try and save data. So for an example, if I was on the phone which is connecting to the hotspot, it would be showing up in the Wi-Fi page and all you need to do is tap on the I um, on the hotspot. So in this case, I'll pretend my TP link is uh, my personal hotspot. I tap on the I like so. And then what you can do is make sure low data mode is turned off like that as, as you can see, otherwise it's gonna be sort of reducing um, how what it does basically, and it'll just be slower. So there we go guys, I hope these fixes did work for you. It's also worth just restarting the host device or the parent device um, if it keeps disconnecting, because that may be a problem with the device. Also go ahead and restart the other devices as well. If you guys found this useful, please leave a like, peace.